Okay, so good morning, everyone. So we start today our, so our second day of the, the contributed talks. And it's my pleasure to introduce our first speaker, Zeus Mendonça Barbosa, Mendes Barbosa, and he's going to talk about radio solutions for a class of Hanon type systems with partial interference with the spectrum. So please, Zeus. Hi, everyone. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say thank you for the committee, for this opportunity today. And uh, I will present uh, our work, a uh, uh, joint work with professors Miyagaki, Pereira, and Santana. And uh, I will give uh, you a short break background about uh, some problems. All right. And if you if you consider this problem here uh, with the Dirichlet condition, we can obtain a solution for this problem where P is between two and two star, where two star is the critical Sobolev exponent. And if you consider here, this linear perturbation, we can obtain a solution with P it's between two and two star, but here we can include two star. There, there are many papers about this, this kind of problem, but here I bring for you this buff here uh, where uh, where so celebrated papers. The first one by Brazis and Nuremberg, they consider lambda between zero and the first eigenvalue of the Laplacian. And the second, they Capozzi, Fortunato and Palmieri consider lambda, uh, a positive lambda here. In both cases, this consider the dimension in large term or equal to four. And they obtain a, a non-trivial solution here. Moreover, in this here, they obtain a positive solution. Uh, in this and these two work, they use a well-known Brazil Nirenberg approach, which use the talent function here, as given by this, which solves this problem here, and active this infimo here. And uh, in parallel, we have the Hanon type equation. The Hanon type equation is characterized by, characterized by this weight here, where alpha is positive. Uh, Michel Hanon makes some experimental, uh, numerical experiment uh, when he studied uh, a system of stars. And uh, here in this context, we can obtain a solution if P is between two and two stars. But Nier make a mathematical study about this kind of equation. And uh, he proved if you consider a radial solution, we can obtain a solution when P is between two and two star alpha. Notice that if alpha is positive, this this number here is larger than this here. So we can ob obtain a solution in an interval larger than the usual solution here, if you consider this weight. This result is thanks to the, the radio lemma. More recently, we have this problem here, where you consider the non-weight, a linear perturbation, but here we consider 
the, sobole the critical Sobolev exponent. Yang Lang have studied this kind of problem and they obtain solution for lambda between zero and lambda one when, the, uh, when n is larger than four and the after they obtain solution for lambda larger than the first eigenvalue but only for dimension larger than or equal to seven. And so me and uh, together with uh, professors Miyagaki Pereira and Santana have studied at this kind of problem here where we consider two way, two in no weights and we consider this critical exponent in the sense of a Renault type equation. Uh, for this, uh, initially we have stood at the spectrum of the, this problem here and obtain this sequence. We obtain some, some properties of this sequence and the eigenfunctions functions associated to this. First, the eigenvalue. Each eigenvalue has finite multiplicity. The eigenfunction has this regularity and satisfies this in these spaces. So to, to find um, a weak solution for that problem, we need to look for critical points of this functional here. And you can use the same approach of Brazil's Nirenberg. For this, we need to, to work with this infimal here, where we consider this weight for the, this infimal is activated by this family of function, which solves these problems here. And we can obtain some, some estimates uh, uh, of this, this family of function. Uh, in particular, I will stress this item C, where we observe that this estimate depends on N and on beta here in three cases. And you, we can we can uh, obtain this result. For epsilon is small enough, we have the, this behavior here of this constant depends on n, n and beta two. Um, it's it's. Uh, I I would like to emphasize that in this. Uh, with this result, after that, we need to consider where lambda is. Some cases we can consider lambda uh, equal to a uh, eigenvalue, and in other cases we cannot. And we obtain these results here. If lambda is between this zero and this eigenvalue, or lambda between two eigenvalues. If we consider n satisfies this, we can obtain a weak, a non-trivial radio solution for the problem. Here, we can consider the resonant case. We notice that this condition implies that n is larger than four plus beta. And if you consider this case here, we cannot consider the resonant case. Moreover, if you has, have this condition here, we only obtain a solution if lambda is large enough and we can't consider the resonant case. Oh. <clears throat> 
Finally, we, uh, I introduce you this system problem. This to, to, to find a solution for this, this, this system here, we consider P plus Q equal to the Sobolev, the, the Sobolev exponent in the sense of the Renault equation and me together with Miyagaki, Pereira and Santana have studied this problem here uh, in this paper, which is published recently. So we can rewrite this system in the vectorial form here, where this uh, AA is a matrix. And if you consider it, B equal to zero and alpha and C equal to lambda, we recover the scalar case. So here we fix some notation. We 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 are looking for solution in this space here with this inner product in this norm. Uh, we have here this relation where mu1 and mu2 is the eigenvalue of this matrix A. And we can, can consider mu1 smaller than mu2. So for find a weak solution for that problem, we need we need looking for we need to looking for a critical point of this functional here. It's similar to the scalar case. But <clears throat> uh, we need to uh, fix as others notation. Here, it's a quotient uh, in the version for the scalar case. And we fix this notation here. If P plus Q, it's equal to, to star alpha. And similarly, here we have this, <coughs> this infimal here in the system version. This next lemma, prove a relation between these two, these two constants. We have this relation here. And moreover, if you has a we have a function which realize this constant here, we can obtain a pair which satisfies this constant here. So if you remember, uh, this constant here was activated by talent function in the non version. So we can obtain a pair which satisfies this, this constant here. Here we have some, <clears throat> some minimization problem. We consider this infimum here, depends on alpha, lambda, and beta. Obvious, it's in the scalar case here. And we can obtain this result here in both cases. But if n is larger than or equal to 4 plus beta, we can obtain this result for positive lambda. And here, if n is smaller than 4 plus beta, we only obtain this, this if lambda is large enough. Here, we consider a similar problem, minimization problem, but here for the system version. 
and uh, these constants depend the alpha, beta, and the matrix A. And you have this quotient here. So we can obtain a similar result. And uh, in, in two cases too, here, we can obtain this result if n is larger than or equal to four plus beta. And here, we can obtain a solution only if mu one is large enough and not equal a, a, ne, a, a negative value here. And we obtain these results uh, here. If you has mu one and mu two between two eigenvalues, and we can obtain a non-trivial radio solution for these problems in three cases. Here for n mu one, here for mu one larger than the first eigenvalue, and we cannot consider the resonant case. And finally, uh, we consider mu one in uh, mu one large enough, and mu one is not equal to our eigenvalue. So, in the three cases, we can obtain a non trivial solution which is radial. A second result, it's here. We have mu one and mu two separated by a eigenvalue. And in this case, we can obtain a solution for n larger than four plus beta, but we need to consider mu one positive, uh, mu one is positive. In this case here, we can consider mu one uh, uh, different from a eigenvalue and positive two. And finally, in this case, we only obtain a no trivial radial solution if mu one is large enough and of course satisfies this. Finally, we, has, we have this result here. And if you consider n large than or equal to four plus beta, and mu one and mu two is smaller than, than the first eigenvalue, we can obtain a radial solution, but here we can show that the solution is positive. And is this, thank you. Okay, thank you very much for your talk.